In this video, I'm highlighting fatigue as a primary and a pretty common symptom that happens with people at some point on their spiritual awakening journey. Now, I'm certainly not creating this for you. So if this is not your experience, please don't make it your experience. Doesn't need to be. But I am speaking to those of you who have experienced this or perhaps might in the future. And a lot of this comes from a lack of grounding, which I covered in another video. Uh, but some of it comes from having your receptors open, having new channels and pathways of energy open and flowing, having new uh, expansions. So for example, as you activate more multidimensional awareness and you expand into new realms, realities, dimensions, things like that, it can become overwhelming for the system especially if you're not grounded. But even if you are, uh, you might find that as you go into certain environments, you'll feel more overwhelmed than you used to. So for example, if you used to shop all the time at, I don't know, Walmart, and it was fine, it was no big deal. You might find that now you go into Walmart and you feel either instantly fatigued or by the time you leave the store, you're exhausted because you're taking in and, and immersing yourself in this soup of lower density energy. And as you increase your frequency, you can sometimes feel more tired more quickly when you're exposed to lower density energy. Now, there's there's sort of a balance to this and there's sort of a an expansion contraction element to this. And what I mean is as you increase your frequency, you increase your energy. And so sometimes in part of that cycle of increasing your frequency, you can go into those lower density environments and feel great because you've increased your frequency. And sometimes when you increase your frequency, you're in a more raw, vulnerable state and part of the cycle, and you will feel more exhausted more quickly. So it depends where you are in the cycle of your own personal expansion and contraction. And then it also depends on what the collective energy is doing also. Uh, if you, again, <laughs> going into Walmart, if something really intense is happening on the planet and the you know, the vast majority of people are anxious or worried or angry. Uh, that can also impact how you feel. And this is especially if you are ultra sensitive, if you're an empath, and you're going to want to learn how to embody more of your own essence so that you can feel a little bit more stable and not absorb other people's energy. And we'll cover this in another video. But when you are embodying your own energy and essence, and when you're flowing God through you, and especially if you work with the blood of Christ and protecting yourself that way, you are less susceptible to absorbing and taking on other people's energy. Again, we'll cover this in another video, but I just want to plant the seed because there are remedies. I don't want you leaving this video feeling like, well, what am I going to do and stop expanding? No, you're going to keep expanding and you're going to learn how to manage your energy in that expansion. But the point of this video is to let you know you're not alone. If this is something you're going through, this is very common on the awakening journey. This is a very normal experience. And so don't lose hope. There are things you can do. Look for the next video and I'll talk about it there. Uh, but for now, know that as you open more flows of energy, as you open more re receptors, as you expand, your nervous system can become what feels like more fragile. It can be harder to regulate yourself, even emotionally. It can be harder to regulate yourself, your nervous system. It can be more challenging to to manage your energy because you're you're opening so much more new energy and you're flowing and receiving so much more new energy than you're used to. When you were just, you know, in your linear life and 
and just focusing on one thing and kind of, you know, had your blinders on or whatever the case was for you. Uh, it was easy to, easier to manage your energy because you were, you know, repetitively doing the same thing over and over to some extent. But as you expand on your spiritual journey and you awaken more and more and more, you're going to keep opening new flows of energy to come into you, to flow through you, within your body, you will open new flows of energy, within your nervous system, you'll create new synaptic connections and open new receptors, all of those things. It can easily lead to feeling fatigued, especially if you're awakening quickly and this happens fast for you. The, the degree of fatigue and exhaustion can equate to how fast you are awakening for in some cases. That's, that's not a hard and fast rule. But I just wanted to put some of these things out there for you to consider, for you to perhaps relate to and not feel so alone in your journey. Uh, it is pretty common to feel overwhelmed, exhausted, overstimulated, all of those things. You're not going crazy. There's not something wrong with you. Uh, you just need to ground and learn how to manage your energy and fill yourself with more of you. We'll talk about that in the next video. If this was helpful for you, do go to creationtemple.com slash donate and leave a little something from your heart.